guys, and welcome back to Amnesia Memories. So we are introduced to Iki and whatever the fuck his name was, I forgot already. But let's just jump right back in. Oh, I see, so even from these guys' point of view, shit was calm. Oh, Kent, right. I directed the remaining people. I looked at the map, predicted possible places you could have fallen, and sent people off in parts. Anyway, that is about all we know. Anything else you want to ask? Hmm, I guess the next question would be, um... Uh... Was I conscious when you found me? Oh, why are they so quiet? Is this some sort of riddle? Shin just asked us the same thing the other day. Shin, too? Well, one day, when? I think he called Ikkyu and me the day before yesterday. He asked the same question you just did. The answer is no. You didn't respond even when we called your name and patted your cheek. If that was just an act, I highly recommend that you become an actress. You were unconscious, so that really was true. But I wonder why Shin called them to ask the same thing. Shin had fallen out of contact up until the day before yesterday. But is he trying to investigate that memory? The only people who saw you at the time of discovery was us, so I guess there's the possibility that we're lying. Anyway, wait. <clears throat> anyway, Kent and I talked it over afterwards. We figured if he was asking a question like that, then someone must have told him you were conscious. Could it have been you? Um, does it kind of seem like they're suspecting you now? Were we any help? I don't know what's going on, but it seems like you're bringing up some interesting new developments. If there's anything else we can help you with, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to hear the results of this too. I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. As do I, young lady, of course. At the very least, it seems like nobody so far has said anything contradictory. Well, you fell off the cliff by accident and Shin asked everyone at the lodge to search for you. And then you were found by Iki and Kent. All of this is consistent, yet that one memory of yours is strangely inconsistent. Yeah, it sure is. Ugh. What is going on? Seriously. August 18th. Okay. Let's do this. Welcome back, Master! May I take your order? And I just realized that Orion is wearing a belly shirt. He. Have a good day, Madame! We'll be waiting your return. Um... Okay, never mind. I thought I heard something. I know you don't really feel like lavishing grace upon strangers at a time like this. But there's nothing you can do right now, and it's important to do your job. Oh, another customer! Go on, Elizabeth. Welcome back! Yay, as you wish, Master! Whew, well that's it for today. Well, we should put our thoughts in order first. Though well, we managed to talk to almost everyone involved, but the last person is a bit of a problem. The Ukiyo, self-proclaimed photographer, no address. What does that mean, no address? Well, you shouldn't let such a suspicious person stay here with your employees, Mr. Owner. You'd like to ask him some questions too, but um... But the paper you got from the owner says the home phone number none, and doesn't have a cell phone listed either. But I doubt the owner would let someone with no available contact information stay over, so he might have been able to contact them himself. Maybe it would be best to ask the owner about this, in addition to some other things. Oh, Elizabeth, what's with the serious look on your face? In the middle of this cafe. Whoa, it's the manager. Great timing. Um... Please tell me how to contact the owner. 
what? Well, why do you ask? Do you have business with Yona? I'm sorry, but I just can't, I can't just tell regular employees that information without a good reason. Well, I guess so. It's a pretty easygoing workplace, but they're strict about some things. In any case, what's going on here? Shin has to be the same thing before. He was trying to find a way to contact the owner as well. Well, wait, Shin, too? What are you two doing? You weren't planning anything strange, are you? If this is about the incident when you were injured, you should leave it to the police. Anyway, I can't divulge the owner's, uh, the owner's personal contact information. Please just go home for today. Well, I guess it was no good. Yeah, I guess that was pretty stupid of me to think he would. But if Shin's been investigating this, you should probably contact him instead of the owner. It's possible that he's been able to move more freely than we saw it, and he just hasn't told you about it yet. If that's the case, you should work together with Shin for this. That would be faster and safer, too. Maybe you should just let him know. Oh, how about messaging him? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Now you just have to wait for a response. Um. Ten minutes later. No, he's not responding. Maybe he really can't do what he wants. Hmm? You haven't changed. I'll walk you home after you're done. Oh, Dawn, I have the same idea again! I was just thinking about walking you home. Wait, again? Well, what will you do? Let's go with Sawa. Okay, then get changed quickly. I'll be waiting here. Because we do not want to go with Toma and make Shin be all like, Oh no, she likes Toma rather than me. I see, so you still can't contact Shin. I thought he might at least be contacting you a little, but I guess we can't do that. What about email? Messages? All the messages I send don't get replies, but I figured maybe he'd respond to you. Well, you probably already tried that. And things are still the way they are. Sorry about that. You know, ever since we met, I've always seen you and Shin together. That was just normal. Now that we don't even know where he is, I'm feeling worried. Sorry, I'm sure you're more worried. There's not much point in me getting so anxious about it. She, she's such a mean guy, but not having him around feels sad. What a strange feeling. Oh, I don't mean like, sh or I don't mean I like shit or anything like that, okay? And even if I did like him, it's not like I'd have a chance. Uh, so, uh, didn't you just come here to find out some information about Shin, huh? Oh, come on, stop lagging. Well, I've got to just be overthinking it. Um, if you do like him, tell me, okay? Oh, what would be the point of that? You would, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it either. Well, I am overthinking this, right? It's been a week since the police took Shin away. It seems like the investigation of the accident is still at a standstill unless your memories come back. And just walking around your house like this doesn't seem to be bringing them back. Ordinary day-to-day -day life might not be enough stimulation anymore. Well, I guess you should just go home for now. Just wandering around alone won't accomplish anything. What? Oh, welcome back. Where were you? That's our line! You shouldn't be the one saying welcome back! It seems like the police are tired of calling me down to the station, so I've got some free time. Mind if I stay here for a while? Hey, come over here for a second. Oh, I'm 
tired. Let me stay like this just for a little while. You're really comforting. You're really warm. I feel like I'm holding a puppy. You're soft. This feels nice. I feel like I'd break you if I held you too tightly. You really are soft. It's relaxing. Elizabeth, this is really you, right? I'm really holding on to you, right? This is the first time I've been apart from you for so long, so I'm kind of confused. I really wanted to see you. What's that? You've learned to say some cute things. It looks like leaving you here so lonely wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. Seriously, I'm sorry. I was joking. I didn't do this on purpose. Thanks, I'm fine now. Oh, so cute! Anyway, mind if I come in? I can't really talk here. Yeah, yeah, come on in. We have lots to talk about. There's something I was investigating myself, and I overheard something the police were talking about, too. I heard you were investigating this, too. Iki told me when I, or when I contacted him. Mind if I listen to what you have to say first? Well, why does it seem almost like he's putting you to work? Well, whatever. Let's see, the things you investigated and your guesses from that were... 20 minutes later. What? That's it? I had a lot of constraints on my time and I still managed to find more. Uh, what's with him? He was acting so weak just a moment ago. Is he over it already? Anyway, here. Ukyo, Iki, Kent. Oh, and also Rika's phone numbers. You should save them. What? How do you know all of this? Why are you surprised? You didn't even think I'd ask Iki and the others for their phone numbers? So that's really what you did? Also, I can't tell you, but I know the owner's contact info. Wh what did you say? I got it from Waka. <gasps> oh, that backstabbing little bitch. That backstabbing little bitch. Gave it to Shin, but not to us. Backstabbing little bitch. I told him that something belonging to the owner ended up in my luggage when he stayed at the mountain lodge. I said it was somewhat of a private matter, and he actually gave me the info pretty easily. Don't you think a lie like that is the best way of getting things done? Don't ask her, she's honest! Unlike someone like you who can lie as easily as breathing! Anyway, I made arrangements with the owner. Something should happen tomorrow that you can look forward to. Look forward to? The real issue was the police. They wouldn't divulge the information I wanted easily, so it took a fair amount of effort, and I'm so sorry if you can hear the fucking loud-ass roommates in the living room. Not only am I the son of a killer, but it was also the second time I was brought in. They don't trust me at all. The people there are pretty sly, too, so it's just constant mental warfare. It was really tough trying to get them to say what I wanted while avoiding saying that or saying what they wanted at the same time. Ugh. SHUT UP! But that's enough grumbling for me. Thanks to my persistence, I figured out why they're so suspicious of me. They found a clue. So you managed to get them to tell you that? That must be why it took so long or so much time. This wasn't the police's doing, it was Shin's. Um What kind of clue? That's still a secret. Actually it'll be annoying to explain, so I'll just show you. What? Show her? But don't the police have that evidence? How would you show her? That's why I said I've er to look forward to tomorrow. Just so you know, I didn't push you or anything. If you don't believe that, I won't be able to do anything. You want to believe it, but uh, you heard some bad rumors, too. Do those have any truth to them? Um... Okay, I believe you. Why does it sound like you're not so sure? Seriously, you need to believe it or we're going to get nowhere. Anyway, in that case, there's a culprit out there who isn't me. What? The culprit? Well, of course, Orion. You're so stupid. 
According to everything I've heard, all signs point to one existing, but it's not me, so it definitely has to be someone else. I want to find out who it is. In fact, I already have an idea who it is. What? But I have nothing to prove they- uh, I have nothing to prove they did it yet. That's what I need. I'm going to start working to gather that evidence, and I want you to help. That's because no matter how far off my prediction might be, there's zero chance that you're the culprit. Well, well that's obviously true, but um, who could this culprit be? Wasn't this all just an accident? Does this mean that there's something suspicious about last or that night besides just the fact that you fell off that cliff? Then could this have been something to do with that contradictory memory you have? Don't worry, I'll protect you. I don't want to see you hurt again, no matter who it is. And to do that, first, the owner needs to make a move. Okay. Oh no. Well, we've got a new slate thing. Um, with some ball dude. Okay. <gasps> maybe it's Toma. I don't want to believe it, but maybe! August 20th. <laughs> Everyone, would you like to stay at my mountain lodge again? What? My good friend, you gathered everyone here to ask something like that. Shin's still suspected. You should show a little discretion. I ask exactly because Shin is still a suspect. You must all feel bad that your friend has been suspected of this crime. I know it's unpleasant for me. Shin isn't a young man who would do something like that. That's what I firmly believe. However, it seems that the police are suspecting him because of something at the scene of the or incident. Oh, really? In that case, wouldn't it be best if we examined the scene ourselves and proved Shin didn't do it? I mean... sure? None of you actually believe that Shin would purposely try to harm Elizabeth, do you? That's true, but still, even the police haven't solved this. What could we possibly do? You can do anything with love, courage, and friendship. Oh my god. That was a joke. Just, er, to be honest, the police haven't devoted much effort to this case. It's highly likely that it was just an accident, and even if it wasn't, it wasn't a very big incident. But regardless of how minor the offense, it's still a big deal to the person suspected, am I right? In other words, there's still a good chance that, our, or that we could discover something in our investigation, rather than the police who have shown little effort. If everyone goes to the scene of the incident, you might remember further details about the night. And it's possible that you could begin to grasp the truth behind everything. I mean, for us, yeah. Well, that's true, I guess. I'm not going to say we should go tomorrow, but what about the day after? Do you all have time? I mean, we work. I'll let you stay at my lodge for free. Doesn't sound bad, right? We should all go on this mystery vacation together. Well, it's not a bad idea. But it's not like we're going to search for a criminal. It's just a search for evidence to prove someone's innocence. Was, er, whoop, <clears throat> was this part of Shin's plan? But it seems like Shin really thinks there's a culprit behind this. Does he actually want to search for evidence to find the culprit? But the owner said it's a search for evidence to prove Shin's innocence. Who was he lying? That actually sounds possible. I guess we'll have to all look out for her, just in case something does happen. Okay, come on. Like, stop it. Sheesh, Mr. Owner. If everyone leaves, am I going to have to run the cafe by myself? Sorry about that. We'll leave it to you. Well, I suppose it's for you, Shin. I guess it can't be helped. But I'll go. Huh, looks like everyone's pretty eager. But what Shin wants to do isn't to look for evidence proving his innocence. He wants evidence proving someone else's guilt. If everyone from this Shinano incident gathers in one place, well, I wonder if we or if we can really be safe from another accident. Elizabeth, you're uncertain about this too, right? 
<laughs> but this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!